Hello viewers, and it's the week of Gamescom this week and we're seeing the latest demos for all the new games coming out later this year and here you see a bit more action on Grip. We've been covering this for the last two years in fact on the PC version and here you see an improved version running on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, now a little while ago we saw this and the frame rate was quite a way lower and they said they were improving it. I'm happy to say now that they're edging closer to the 60 frames all the time. You can see here running really well in split screen. Uh, it's looking amazing in the single player and we'll see that in just a moment. Great to see uh, the split screen mode so well implemented though. I mean this is split screen with pretty much uh, full detail from the looks of it on uh, in terms of lighting, look and feel. Really, really great job by the developers in terms of bringing it all together and seeing the different action here. The game's expanded massively. I do look forward to giving it a proper session. I'm waiting now until I get hold of the final game and then I can go through uh, testing out all the different vehicles, the, uh, the uh, career mode, uh, and looking at how it develops me as a driver. You know, it, is, it is challenging. Uh, they've worked on a few aspects of the handling since uh, I last played it. Uh, it's, in some respects, it's more forgiving, which is a good thing, thing because I, I found that at times you were just, you know, pretty much at a standstill trying to work your way around these courses. They're very challenging courses. And so a little bit of a helping hand in terms of a lucky bump here or there really does go a long way. Uh, you know, as I say, visually, uh, really nice. I mean, it's uh, a nice flow of design, colour. There's a really, really nice look to it. Solidity in terms of the look and detail. You can see wonderful detail on the vehicle types there lighting on this track is very bright. This is again in development. It's a very bright circuit, giving you that feel of an alien world. I had absolutely no idea where I was going on this track. I was just following the other cars and would uh, get lost in the sea now and again. Just trying the different viewpoints. If you want the feeling of speed, you've certainly got it from inside the car. Then there was more split screen two player showing one of the new circuits which we hadn't seen before. Can't show much of that at the moment, but there we have it. Uh, and that was uh, great fun to play. And then uh, finally, one of the old sort of city circuits. I don't have all the names of the circuits handy, but uh, played this before. And this has come a long way since the early version. Loads more detail now. It's really been nicely developed, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I mean, this for me is my sort of read out, if you like, of of 2018. This is the indie game I've been looking forward to for a long time and I'm amazed at the quality of the graphics and the scale of the game and the way it's improved. I really, this is something that really impresses me and I, I you know, I expect it will impress me on the on the consoles when it's released as well. I mean, you can already see the visuals for yourself. Absolutely stunning running here on the PlayStation 4 Pro. No doubt it look amazing on Xbox. But um, that's it from me for now on this uh, look at grip certainly one to look out for. Grip's coming out in November. I believe it's the 6th of November, but I'll confirm the date uh, at a later point in a later video. We'll have extensive preview coverage to come on this game because I like it, and I'll do a few streams as well, no doubt, nearer to launch. But um, that's it from me for now. As ever, more soon.